During a candid interview with Andy Cohen on Watch What Happens Live, Dolly Parton opened up about her music career, revealed some future projects and debunked a decades-long Hollywood rumor. We rounded up our favorite fun facts from the wide-ranging interview. In one round of questions, Parton was asked what her best purchase was using the royalties from her hit song I Will Always Love You. Parton wrote the song in 1973 and it broke records after Whitney Houston performed it nearly two decades later in 1992. I bought my big office complex down in Nashville and so I thought, well, this is a wonderful place to be, Parton recalled. I bought a property down in what was the black area of town and it was mostly just black families and people that lived around there. I thought well, I am going to buy this place. It was a whole strip mall and I thought this is the perfect place for me to be, considering it was Whitney, so I just thought, this is great, I'm just going to be down here with her people, who are my people as well. I love the fact that I spent that money on a complex and I think, this is the house that Whitney built," Parton added. In another video, Parton noted that she had never been asked to sing I Will Always Love You with Houston. I wish that could have happened, she said. I would have loved it but I don't think I could have come up to snuff with her though. She'd have outsung me on that one for sure. While Parton and Houston may have never worked together, the country singer revealed that she and friend Reba McIntyre have finally recorded a duet together. The song, a new version of McIntyre's hit Does He Love You, will appear on McIntyre's new album. We did a new version of it. It turned out really, really good Parton said. I've always wanted to sing with her and I don't know why we never did it till now but we really sounded good together. I think the fans are going to like it. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.